Hi everyone, my name is Romy Hartono Wijaya and in this video I want to give one tips to improve your reading skill. Efficiency it's efficient skill efficiency. It's called free reading. Uh, what is free reading? Free reading is a way to quickly understand the organization and outline of a sheet. You will be able to prove that pre-reading is one thing we can do to improve reading skill efficiently. Pre-reading is a way of looking quickly for an overview <coughs> of read. Pre-reading is a way of looking quickly for an overview of reading that will be read before starting reading. This way, you will be able to read quickly and be able to follow the talk of the author of the reading you are reading. Reading is a technique that allows readers to become familiar with the material to be read. Efficient readers very often make prediction or anticipation either before a wider reading or reading in terms of the content and organization of the reading material. Prediction is the process of making a connection between what you already know about the reading material or book you are going to read and the information that you that you use as material. The main objective of the activity reading is to get an overview of the content of the reading we are going to read by identifying the main idea and organization of the reading. In doing this, you can see the important part of the reading and you read, you read it outline hurry to the last part of the reading. There are seven steps in doing reading. Number one, reading the title of the reading. The title of reading usually provides information to the reader about what material or topic is discussed in the reading. The title informs the main topic covered in the reading. Number two, read the introduction or opening paragraph. The introduction or opening paragraphs usually provide information or an overview or outline of the content of the reading. This section also contains information or clues about the author mindset. If the initial paragraph is long, then you can read the first two or three paragraphs. Number three, read each subtitle. The title of the topic of discussion can be heading. Heading is a kind of title of subheading that provide information of the content or material to be informed in relation to the title of subheading. Title or subtitle is outline of outline the content of the passage. Number four, read the first sentence of each title or subtitle. The title or subtitle actually provides brief information of the out, of the outline of the content or the paragraph or reading. But the first sentence of each title or subheading provides information about the title or, or subheading which is the subject matter discussed. Number five, read the writing topography. Writing topography is usually in italics. Bold printer or bold face type color writing numbering, capital letter or capitalization, and underline. Number six, pay attention to the graphic or image, if any. Graphic or picture aim to emphasize to main point in a reading. First, the picture or graphic emphasizes the main idea discussed in the reading. Second, picture or graphic provide information about a summary of the main ideas or the relationship between the main ideas discussed in the reading. Besides graphic or image in the forum chart, the table also provides the main thing discussed in the reading. 
and the last step is with the last paragraph or conclusion the last paragraph is usually the conclusion of our reading material okay everyone to do to do reading in a reading text one of the next important step is to remember what you already know related to the text or reading you have prepared these steps can be done by linking the knowledge and experience you already have with the topics of the text okay maybe that's all from me thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh